www.rochellearthurs.com Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do? Hi guys and welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of those unwanted bleeding sounds that come from your headphones when you're recording and then go through to your mic and then that transports itself to your vocal track which is so frustrating and annoying. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of those sounds as much as possible. Um, there's a great method called um, stripping the silence from a vocal track. Um, it's a bit of a weird title because you're not actually stripping silence because you're stripping unwanted sounds, for example, in this case, bleeding sounds. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how to get rid of those unwanted sort of clipping sounds at the beginning or in between vocal uh, tracks okay so let's start off by first of all um, stripping the silence from this vocal track so we're going to look, look at um, the echo lead which is here so what I'm going to do is just zoom in by pressing Z on the keypad um, and I want to zoom in a little bit more than that actually so let me just widen this out a bit and what we're going to do is concentrate on this echo track here um, so this is a song that I'm working on at the moment. The instrumental hasn't really been built yet. It's just a basic uh, melody I've got at the moment so I could write something. And I'm just going to play a bit of it just so you can hear, first of all, the unwanted sounds in this vocal track. I'm just going to solo it by pressing the S button here. Um, and then I'm going to press the space bar just to play it. Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do about this love? Cause we're like two strangers Living in a home we know and love We don't say a word to each other Let's hello or goodbye You say you still love me But we know that's a lie So in between these areas here, such as here and here and here that's where and um, the bleeding sound comes in so what we're going to do is strip that sound out so there's two ways you can strip silence it's by going to functions which is up here above the arrangement section um sorry first of all you need to click on the actual track itself then go to functions then go to remove silence from audio regions or you can use a shortcut key by pressing Control and x on your keypad now, when you press Control and X, what Logic has done is started to identify the um, areas where there's silence. Now, because I've used this tool before, it's not come up the way it would have came up if I'd done it from the beginning. So how it would have came up initially would have been like this. So basically, what this is showing you is that there's a vocal here, then Logic saying that there's some sort of silence there um, and there and there. So what we're going to do is accept the settings that it's given us just to see how that sounds. So we're going to press OK. Then you'll see that the parts have all come out. So now what we're going to do is just play back some of these vocal parts just so you can hear um, how it sounds. So I'm just going to play um, these two sections. Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do about this love? Cause we're like two strangers living in a home with no love. So as you can see, although it's stripped the silence, um, there's certain areas where it's stripped too much. So what you can do is go back to that setting again by pressing Control and X, and then maybe um, amend in the minimum time to accept the silence to 2.1 thousand seconds by pressing that up arrow here. So let's try that and press OK and see if that's made any difference here. So let's loop that set those two bits again and see if it's any better. Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do about this love? Cause we're like two strangers, living in a home with no love. So, as you can see, you can't really always rely on logic to strip the silence out perfectly. So what I'm going to show you is how to do it yourself. So maybe use logic initially to just strip um, the parts that they believe to be the most silent 
then you can go in and just amend your uh, vocal tracks yourself. So what you have to do is, for example, just zoom in. So that we're just going to concentrate on these two bits so far. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more. And what I'm going to do is just drag out the track just a touch a bit more here. So when I'm saying the word cause, it will start right there instead of hot, like, you know, a tiny bit inwards. Then here again, I'm going to drag out a bit more. And at the end here, I think there's too much, so I'm going to drag it in a bit. Let's see how that sounds together. Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do about this love? Because we're like two strangers living in a home we know and love. So you can hear that it's quite an abrupt end. It's like a shh. Right? So what you can do, as I said earlier, when there's those sort of clipping sounds, the way to get around them is to use a fade tool. So if you go up here where that you can change the icons, go to um, left click and then get the fade tool. So scroll down, choose a fade tool here. Then what you do is at the beginning of this track, I would advise you to zoom in before you do, do this. So press Z or just drag the zoom in tools up here on the right hand side. And then you can add a fade tool. So all you have to do is just click on the track and drag, click on the track and drag. So now, and here as well, I'm going to do the same thing. Now you should not hear, and here again, any unwanted sort of um, sounds in between those sections. So I'm just going to zoom out by pressing the Z button. Sorry, I'm just going to zoom out by using the keys up here. Then not up there, sorry. And then we're just going to um, play those two areas where I've just applied the wave form here. And here, let's fade out. Look at me, look at you. What are we trying to do about this love? Cause we're like two strangers living in a home we know and love. So although you're gonna hear some bleeding, that's fine because if there's if you're singing and you've got a bit of the music, it's fine, but it's when those areas are quiet and you're trying to get um, rid of those sounds, this, this is the way to do it. So again, just to reiterate, um, Control X opens up the uh, tool to get rid of the silence. They call it the quiet part, but as I said earlier, it's not really quiet, is it? Because there's actually still some sound coming through. Um, or you can go to functions and control, sorry, functions, and choose remove silence from audio region. And then to get rid of those clipping sounds at the end of vocal parts, um, even instrumental, sometimes they click, click, you just press, um, sorry, my reminder, I've got choir practice in a minute. Um, you just use the wave tool, which is a left click on this tool here. And then you just select fade tool and then just drag the ends of the, each bit to add the fade tool. So let me just play you from this part to maybe um, here. And um, bear in mind, I didn't actually apply the tool here, so you're going to hear a difference. Look at me, look at you, what are we trying to do about this love? Cause we're like two strangers living in a home we know and love. We don't say a word to each other. Let's hello or goodbye. You say you still love me, but we know that's a lie. And I'm going over you and everything about. There you go so that is how you get rid of unwanted sounds i hope you find this tutorial helpful and i'll be back next week with another tutorial look at me look at you what are we trying to do about this love because we're like two strangers living in a home we know and love we don't say a word to each other
Okay. 